morning everyone it's andrea it's the 10th of june i thought we'd do weekly vlogs been a while since we've done that and jennifer's in the back we're at nursery i'm about to drop take her in um pretty good month on ebay so far because it's only the 10th of june um i did have a good sale at the beginning of the month which is why i'm really happy at the moment which was a pentax lens which sold for 129 pounds so at least i know my fees are paid for this month and probably next month too because i've had some other sales i had a couple on the weekend so you'll see me pull those hopefully if i remember later on um went to a boot sale yesterday which was oh, the weather was supposed to be nice and it still rained so we got there we had a quick look around i bought some records and a bop it and a bop it smash for a fiver that was a fiver for both not for each um the reason it was a fiver for both was they she wanted 350 each and i said we well, do two for both for a fiver and she went go on then um so i bought some records for me and that and i know i can sell the bop it smash for around 15 pounds because i've done that before and this is a white one i had a black one before so this afternoon I'm going to go to mum's because I want to take Jennifer to the health centre to get a wade because she hasn't been weighed for ages, not since I came back to work. So that was like January and I would like to know how much she weighed so I'm going to take her. So we're going to take her into nursery now and I'll catch up with you this afternoon. So we're back home now, it's about quarter past one. I was going to take her to be weighed but I haven't got a red book and I'm not actually sure where it is. I've got to find it so that'll be next week now. And to be honest I don't really want to disturb her again. Look at her, she's out. This is because she didn't go to sleep until gone 11 last night and then she was up at 5 and she won't sleep at nursery. All the other babies were sleeping and she's still playing around. As soon as we get in the car she passes out. As soon as we get home, put her down, she cries for a minute and then she's straight out again. So I'm going to grab some lunch and then if she's still asleep afterwards I'm going to do some photo in for eBay. Because I've got quite a lot still to do. Right, I'm just getting on now. I've come up to try and do some work I've got this stuff to put away and I'm pretty sure I've sold something that's in here so I'll find out and show you and then there's something in there that's sold and I'll pull that out and show you in a minute as well and then I'm going to try and photograph these five items in here and some of those in that bag there to try and get them done so I'm exhausted just walking up the stairs it's ridiculous okay so I found the item now it wasn't actually in the box I thought it was in it was in a different one I had to go and check. There you are. <laughs> uh, this is just a Topshop sweatshirt, so it's June, but I'm selling a long sleeve sweatshirt and it's grey, black, and animal print. So, I've got a nice actual Topshop for about uh, £9. I think it cost me a quid. I'm happy to get what I can at the moment. Uh, this is a Debenhams suit, skirt suit, cost me £2, I think, and I sold it for £15 plus, plus posted. So as you see, I need to sort this room out again. Look how um, quicker the boxes are. So that's the box the suit came out of. So there's a bit of space, but not much in there because I made a mistake of just photographing all dresses because it's just easier once it's like that. And of course, then of course you put all dresses in one in the boxes and it fills up quicker than it should if you had a mixture. My plan is to get on top of it and then just do it as it comes in. But at the moment, it's still sorted into dresses, skirts, tops. This top bag of tops here that needs to go down and be steam cleaned. Well, steamed because it needs steaming. But I'm going to try and do these five and this, or some of it anyway, in a minute. So I'm going to crack on with that. I'm going to put those in the postage later, post them tomorrow. Let's try. Oh, I'm so tired. Let's try and crack on and at least get five things photographed. If I can do five, I'll be happy. If I can do more, that's even better. Right, I'm back down now from upstairs. I've photographed five items. I'm happy with that. It's so hot up there. And I have got Wednesday off at uh, work, so I'll be dropping Jennifer in and coming home and spending four hours-ish photographing. So um, as long as I can get something to list every day, I'll be happy. I have got some stuff down here that still needs to be measured. Um, and I've brought down a bag of stuff that needs to be run. So the problem is that there's just kid stuff everywhere. <laughs> Look at the state of my CDs. That's Jennifer. She keeps um, taking them off. So over here I've got a bag of stuff that needs to be measured and packed away. There's not much in there now, I've nearly done it. That's all been photographed ready. And then I've got empty, that's an empty bag. And then I've got, this is the stuff from the boot sale yesterday. So we've got a record, which is Hot City Nights. So it's got Queen, Bon Jovi. Brian Adams, White Snake Heart, Robert Plant, etc. etc. So I put that in the 
This is the record pile that I still sort in. So, and there's still more. Some of these have been cleaned. I think it's from Presley backwards. Yeah, from there backwards have been cleaned, but not necessarily listened to. And these haven't been cleaned or listened to. And then there's some more. And then we've got, let's use the bubble wrap, a couple of singles. I think there's four singles. So we've got John Lennon, just like starting over. The beautiful set, a little time. And, oh no, it's only three. And John Lennon Woman. Two books from my mum, which I picked up in Tesco yesterday in the uh, sale, a pack of quavers. So this is the Bop It, Bop It Bash, Smash, Bop It Smash, and it works because it keeps going off. And then I've got a Bop It Extreme 2. Now this one I haven't tested yet, but uh, I will. I have no idea. I've never played this before, so I might have a go on it first. Give it a clean, it's a bit manky. See what we can get for it. So I'm gonna steam some clothes. So here's my steamer. Screws the bubble wrap, as you can see. Um, and I've got a lot of stuff that needs steaming. So I'm almost out. Stuff that um, doesn't need steaming. I think there's a bag of it over there that needs to go up. But I thought I'd get some of this stuff steamed so I can just do it. So while Jennifer's still asleep, I'm boiling hot. I'm gonna have a quick, quick drink and then do some steaming. Oh, the joys of being a reseller. It's got to be done. And then later on tonight, I'll pack up those two items I brought down. You never know, I might get another one. I've got um, an unpaid item case open with a somebody made an offer on a pair of red jeans. Really nice. Um, why make an offer on something and then don't pay? I don't know. It's only the second time it's happened, so don't worry about it that much. And we'll... Uh, I don't know. It's just really annoying, so I just gotta wait now for eBay to uh, sort the case out, and then they'll release the item for me, unless that person pays, and then they can have them, obviously. But why make an offer on something and not pay? I mean, I get that you might not check it immediately, or even for twenty four hours. You know, it's not like a reseller where we've got the notifications on it goes kaching every time we get a sale, or we're constantly looking to see if we've got any watches and stuff. But why make an offer if you've got no intention of buying the item? I don't get it. I just don't get it. So I don't know what time it is. Um, hang on, I'll check. Yeah. Time's about 20 past three. So I'll try and do a few items and take them upstairs safe and photograph them hopefully tomorrow. Obviously tomorrow I'll be going to the post office so that means it's tat sale. I go to my one of my sales. I gotta admit going at the time I go now because I finish work there's not as much as there was when I was going earlier even like by an hour, an hour and a half but I still pick up some nice items, so I'm not too worried. Um, it's just a matter of cracking on with it and getting as much of this done. I want all of this backlog done before I go on holiday in a few weeks. And um, you will be getting videos from me. I will be doing daily vlogs when I'm on holiday, but you won't see them until the week after when I get back. So they'll be uploaded with various other things, hopefully. But yeah. So my plan is um, to take my laptop and there's no Wi-Fi where we're staying well there is but there's not in the caravans but there is in the the restaurant and the the, the buildings of the park um so i'm going to take paul's amazon fire and i don't know i'm going to see if i can get onto my ebay from that i'll try it here first and if i can just so i can change my dispatch settings so you know because i'm gonna have to change them to like i know it's working days so i've got to work it out because we go on friday so i don't want to post anything it's going to be at least, I was thinking, seven days. And then on the Thursday, change it back down. To, yeah, on the Thursday night, change it back down to two. Yeah, that's about, about right. Something like that, anyway. Well, I'll work it out. <sighs> Stuff everywhere. Stock everywhere. Everywhere I look. So I'm going to crack on with this... Um, steaming so I can get some of this stuff later. And there's some really nice stuff in some of this steaming. Not in this bag, but upstairs there's two two Hobbs cardigans that are silk, cotton and cashmere blend that I bought for 50p each. Haven't got most of that because they need steam, they need ironing and I'm lazy. I am a lazy mare but I'm going to do it because I want them to look nice and I want them to sell for a good price so I'll let you know if I get anywhere in a bit.
morning everyone it is now tuesday the 11th of june and it's horrible you wouldn't believe it was uh, june it's like 10 degrees out and raining it's supposed to be raining all day as well which is great so the plan for this afternoon is if it's still raining when i finish work which it's supposed to be i'm going to drop jennifer off at her nana and granddad's um, while well, i go to the post office and to my usual sourcing and of course it's tuesday so we have chips uh, for lunch with my mum and then i'll go down and get her and have lunch with my mum so you've taken her out in the rain because it's not very nice she's been all cute in the back and then i did photograph those five items yesterday today i'm going to be measuring stock um i'm trying to get that done did a load of steaming i'm going to do a load more tonight if i can because tomorrow morning i've got the morning off of my work i'll be dropping jennifer into nursery going home and spending the morning photographing as much stock as i can so i want to get those tops steamed i've got a lot of them to do so i've done loads i'm going to do a load more tonight and try and get all of that photographed and then next week's a full week in work and then i'm off for a week well i'm off for a fortnight um or so because i'm going away at some point um so i'm trying to get everything done over this week and next week done so i don't have to um have any stock hanging around when i'm away so i'm going to take uh, jennifer into nursery now and um, i will see you when i finish my job later on good morning it's wednesday i've just dropped no no jennifer i can't even speak this morning jennifer off at nursery yesterday was right off i got home put it down for a nap and she would not settle she screamed her head off I don't think she was feeling particularly well. She got a bit of a cold again. So I picked her up after I got a drink and it took ages to get her to quieten down, settle down. Um, and she went to sleep on me. And then when I went to the loo, I put her down again and she started screaming again. Again, it took me ages to settle her down. So I didn't get anything done last night, but that's what happens sometimes with kids. Um, not a major problem. She's okay. She's in the nursery now. So I'm about to head off home and spend the next four hours or so on photographing stock so i've got until about half past 12 when i need to leave to pick her up so plenty of time it's only just gone eight so i'm gonna head off home now and takes about 10 minutes to get home and then i'm just gonna crack on uh, so i'll see you back there and i'll show you my plan for the day okay i'm back it's probably about hello all right i'm home now i've made a cup of tea and i'm sitting in the stock room which is also my book marilyn room as you know <clears throat> about half past nine when i got in first thing i did was obviously make a cup of tea but i also put jennifer's washing away and some of my washing away because it needs to be done and now i'm just clearing up some of the rubbish that's on the floor in this uh tap room and i'm gonna start photographing so i've got this bag of stuff that doesn't need ironing i think there's like like steaming there's four items in there there's a pile of stuff i did yesterday i steamed there's this black top which is a Dorothy Perkins one. It cost me something like 50p. I was going to keep it, but I, it feels a bit tight under the arms, to be honest. So I'm actually just put that in there. It's too short. I'd say it's too short to be a dress. Um, if it was a size 12 or a 10, I'd say it could be a dress. But as a 20, I'd say no, it's not long enough. But there you go. So pop that in there. And then this is stuff that needs steaming. And I'm not going to worry about that. Not today. So my plan is to do this and that and there is a bag downstairs of stuff that doesn't need steaming there's not much left in it uh, maybe about half a dozen items um so if i get all that then, then i'm gonna go and get that bag and start doing that <coughs> and then if that's a skirt by the way if i get all that done i am going to photograph all the jeans I've got, there's some menswear, there's some trouser suits. And then I'm going to go back and do any skirts I got. I got those two lovely skirts from yesterday. I want to put them on. Um, so I want to get them photographed. So that's the plan. I'm going to do all the tops that don't need steaming. Then anything else that's up here, like the menswear, the jeans. Um, and then I'm going to go back to doing skirts, dresses and uh, stuff that doesn't need steaming that's not tops. So... Then if there's any time left after that, unlikely, I will go and start some steaming and then I'll pick up, go and leave for Jennifer about half past 12, come home, hopefully she'll fall asleep while I have some lunch and if she does, I will then spend the afternoon measuring and getting some drafts done. And then the plan is if she dozes off tomorrow and Friday, I will either steam or photograph depending on what needs to be done. 
where I am with it. So I'm going to crack on with just picking some of this rubbish off up the floor. And uh, then I'm going to start with the uh, photographing this mess. Because there's all that in the corner. There's also loads downstairs, so I need to crack on with it. So I'll check in with you in about an hour, two hours, maybe about 10 o'clock-ish, hour and a half. I'll see you then. Okay, it's 20 past 10. I'm going to take a break now. I have photographed everything that was up there that didn't need to steam in and everything that I had already steamed. And that's a total of 17 items so far. I've got more to do. There's a bag over there of stuff that doesn't need steam in. I'm going to take that up and do that. I'm also going to photograph, hopefully, the stuff I bought yesterday. I did find one top which I photographed which did have a mark on it. didn't show up in the photographs, but I've popped it into the wash along with the cardigan I bought yesterday for 50p. So there's a slight mark on that. And a dress that I bought a while back. Again, it only cost me 50p. Add a mark on it. It's gone into the wash because um, I had some washing to do. I've got another load upstairs to do. So if I find anything else that needs washing, it'll be popped in along with those. So I'm just going to have a cup of tea and a snack, um, watch a bit of YouTube for half an hour. And then, like I said, I'll take the bag up that doesn't need steam and my arm's aching and I can... That's better. Um, yeah, I'll take up the bag that doesn't need steam in and stuff I bought yesterday and try and get through that lot. If I get through that lot and I've still got a bit of time, then there are some jeans and some menswear upstairs that I will just start photographing as well. Just to get it out of the bedroom looking a lot better up there now brought down one empty bag so yeah i've got bags and bags it's great so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to take up that stuff and do that in a minute and then if i run out of stuff that i've taken up then i will obviously do the menswear and, and there's some jeans up there as well i think there's some jeans down here i might take them up as well just get that lot done and popped into them um, great big ikea bag to come down and be measured later right so i'm gonna have my break now and i will check in just before i go and pick jennifer up about half past 12 ish see you in a bit Phew. all right i'm done now it's half past 12 so i'm gonna go and get jennifer in a minute i photographed 32 items today which is pretty good going there's still loads to do there's probably about at least the same again if not more but when you think about it, 32 at five, listing five a day is only a week. It's not even a week. It's six days. So I'm going to go get Jennifer. Um, I'm going to have my lunch. So hopefully while I'm having my lunch, she will sleep. And if that's the case, I'll be able to crack on, sit at the table and just do some measuring and then tomorrow hopefully again if she sleeps once i get home from mum and dad's i can do some more photos even if it's only five items or ten items or six items apparently ebay was down this morning i don't know anything about that because i haven't been on ebay today i'm on it now um i haven't had any sales the last couple of days but then i find that happens I will try and list some stuff tonight but you know it is what it is it will happen you know how much have I got to pay this month so 31st May invoice which goes out on the 15th was 70 pounds and 57 pence currently my invoice for this month is 21.83 but that does not include my shop subscription so it's going to put it up to 50 odd pounds and then of course all the, the relists when they go in. So it's going to be pretty, it's going to be fine. It's not a problem. I've got plenty of uh, money to cover it and hopefully it's still early in the month. Hopefully we'll get some more sales. So, so tired. Look at say me. I get so hot up in there in the room because of the daylight bulbs and the lighting from the, the studio light that I sweat. And I get really hot. And then I come down here and, and like within five minutes I'm freezing. So. I'm also shattered. I am going to get ready to go and get peanut. And I will see you possibly later if I've done some packing. If not, it'll be tomorrow. By packing, I mean measuring and 
putting it all numbered into numbered bags so that it's easy to locate. Also got a bit counts. Got to put what I bought yesterday in on there, and I've got to put my postage from yesterday in. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have to go and get Jennifer. So I will see you in a bit. Bye. Morning, it's Thursday, and uh, yeah, yesterday she had a quick kip and then woke up and wanted me to hold her, which is fine, I don't have a problem, it's nice holding her. Um, I did manage to measure 10 and get those ready for drafting. Would have liked to have done more, but I had to wait till after dinner. Plan for today is after work, we're gonna go and see mum and dad, have some lunch with them. She'll have had hers, by the way. And then I'm gonna go home, hopefully she'll have a sleep. If she has a sleep, I'll try and photograph a few more items. Um, if, if she won't, she won't, it's what it is. Um, and I'll try and measure another 10 items. I, I'll try and list five a day, so as long as I can get 10 a day measured and five to 10 a day photographed, I'll soon be catching up. They have definitely made a dent in the, the backlog. I've definitely made a dent in the death pile. I'm really happy with that. I'm just hoping I can keep up the work and start getting things listed and some sales. It's been quiet this week. This just, just is what it is. So I'm gonna go to work now, drop her in at nursery, and I'll catch up with you later. It's Friday. Jennifer's in the back. I'm gonna drop her off at nursery. Yesterday was another write-off. She would not sleep yesterday afternoon at all. Got home from mum and dad. Thought she'll go to sleep now. No, nah, wouldn't have enough of it in her cot. Well, okay, I'll give her a cuddle. She'll probably go to sleep on me. No. About five past five, she passed out on my lap eventually. So I took her up and put her in a cot, and she stayed asleep. I went and had dinner with Paul. When he got in just after six, he went down and got fish and chips few cries thought oh she'll get up now it's about seven o'clock well out she was out all night apart from a brief spell at around 11 30 when she woke up crying because she wanted to cuddle gave her a cuddle she went straight back to sleep put her back down i got her up at half past six this morning she must be starving so i got her up and gave her a bottle she didn't want much of that so hopefully she'll eat all her breakfast at nursery but she slept from around five o'clock last night until around half past six this morning I wish I could sleep for that long. Do you know? It'd be really nice. Anyway. Yeah, so didn't get anything done. Hopefully, I mean, I did get five listings up, which is something. Hopefully, I'll get uh, something done this afternoon. Hopefully, she'll sleep as normal. But who knows? Anyway, time to take her into nursery and go to work. I will see you afterwards. Hopefully, I might get some stuff done. Hello. Good morning. It is Saturday. The 15th of June. Look, there's a bit of blue sky today. Amazing. And we are off down the road. Um, yeah, I didn't do any work yesterday. I put some auctions up. That's about it. And um, yes, I had two sales, so I'm going to drop them down at the post office now. They won't go off till Monday, but it's just so I don't have to go to the post office on Monday. Oh, you have to go back and get the bag, Paul. Um, I don't know where it is, though. The little one. Either one, just grab one. Right, what do you need in it? Nappy bags, I think, is the only thing that's not in it. And wet wipes, probably. So we've forgotten a bag. So we probably won't need it. Sorry, baby, we go go back. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, so I don't have to go to the post office on Monday. I've had a sale this morning, so I will be going on Tuesday, which means I'll get to go to the tax sale, which is great. I only go now if I've got post. So the last couple of weeks I have been on Thursday because I've had nothing to post. And I think part of the reason I've had a couple of sales is I've been putting up some auctions every day to use up my auctions. So I get 30 auctions every month. I think I've got like 10 left or something or 15 left. So. But yeah, when they run out, they run out. I ain't worried. So yeah, I'm doing that and hopefully get a few more sales in, like I said, I had one this morning, so that'll go off on Tuesday. But today we're supposed to be having a fair in Mexico. Now, luckily the weather's improved, it was raining earlier on. It's supposed to be some sort of music festival, so we're gonna go and have a quick look round, so I'm gonna take you with me. So we're down in the park now. Oh, I'm actually in the tea tent at the moment. So this tea tent is actually free. Everything's free, it's just a donation if you want to for Latch. So I've got two teas, one for me and Dad, and a Welsh cake. Paul's getting himself a coffee. And the thing is, we were talking about Welsh cakes the other day, and I said I really wanted one. 
so now I've got one. So we can't do much filming down here because there are all bands on, so there's going to be a lot of music, but if I can, I'll show you around in a bit. So it's Sunday night and I haven't done any recording today. I'm just going to wind this vlog up. Um, yeah, there was no boot sales today because the weather's been bad. Um, I have done some listening, done some measuring. Jennifer's asleep and I've got a brand new really puffy memory foam pillow which I'm snuggled into. Um, but that's it for this weekly vlog so you'll be seeing this on hopefully Monday. <laughs> um, I wasn't feeling too bright yesterday. I'm feeling bad today. Just really tired, but yeah, getting there slowly. I haven't had many sales over the weekend. I had one yesterday, and I've had a couple of uh, bids on some auction items, which is great. So, some stuff out the door that I just wanted to get a shot of, so I'm happy with that. Um, don't know what I'll be doing next. Probably won't do a weekly vlog next week, maybe the week after. Maybe not. I don't know. Might do some individual ones. Do want to try and do some Marilyn vlog um, videos, Marilyn scrapbook videos, Marilyn book reviews, some colouring ones. I don't know, we'll have to see. But that's it, another week over, and I'm tired and I'm going to bed. So I hope you've had a good week, and I will see you soon, everybody. Bye.